Hey everybody, welcome to the Infinite Regression. Uh, this is the place where it all happens, you know? Th this is what it's like when worlds collide. Are, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Anyway, um, good. Because we're, we're going to uh, play video games. Yeah. Uh, we, we played all the way up to this one right here. Bayonetta, which, uh, okay, Le <laughs> let me be perfectly honest with you, uh, look, 30.1 hours, I've beaten this game, I have beaten this game, I've played it start to finish, um, and, uh, here, I'll, I'll start it, uh, played it start to finish, <laughs> and, uh, mainly, at the recommendation of, uh, so you get to see what I watch. Anyway, uh, mostly at the recommendation of some of my favorite YouTubers who were like, oh my God, this Bayonetta is so amazing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna skip all the things. Um, and let me just be perfectly honest with you about this game that I'm about to get into. Uh, is that, um, okay, are you 12? Do you like a 12-year-old's concept of female sexuality? If so, then guess what I have in store for you? Uh, yeah, you can continue. No, don't continue for my last save checkpoint, because we, sorry, new game. Oh, yeah, I will proceed anyway. I don't care. Uh, difficulty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what's funny? Okay. Here's the, the ridiculous thing. Is that, like, um, Bayonetta, when you first get to it, there's normal mode. There's hard mode. Um, and I was like, just give me normal. Uh, actually, hard mode doesn't unlock. I don't think it unlocks until you have beaten the game and um i could be wrong on that i could be remembering incorrectly uh but i played it on normal mode and i got my butt handed to me on like every single level um uh, in a universe of light and dark where can we skip this scene uh what Close, close the pause menu and return to the game. Can we... Could it be skipped? Anyway. Uh, it's a bit of a weird game. Let's be honest. Uh, this is a bit of a weird game. You're... Uh, you're like a witch, essentially. And you are uh, fighting angels. And this opening sequence is really cool, and you will recognize it, of course, from long since uh, erased from the records oh, of time. Yeah, there I'm once existed two ah, European clans who served as overseers oh, of yeah, history for the, the powers that you need. Step to me. The hey. Umbra witches, uh, dwellers of the darkness, oh, and the Lumen sages, anyway, um, controllers of the light. Yeah, the clans hate thing. each other anyway, great respect. Anyway. And their efforts uh, to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of yeah, time. Yeah, it's funny because at this point in the game, one you day, don't really actually know that what the balance was toppled. Sort of like, I'm doing a thing, I guess, is what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so if you played Smash Bros, then certainly you've seen this whole the once like, harmonious on clan face fell into disagreement clock tower. and stoked the flames of hatred against each other, resulting oh, in an so era of strife. Uh, the conflict is between the Umbra violent. and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic um, loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. And quite frankly, it was it's truly like, a gruesome uh, war. I'm not bothered by like, the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them. The Lumen Saints were gradually beaten by the assault of the secret itself, which bothers me as much as... Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbra Witch's favor. 
it, it just feels very uh, misogynistic in a lot of ways. Like, I, it, it's kind of hard to describe why precisely uh, I... Oh, right. I got that. Power. Uh, it's, it's hard for me to describe why exactly. Because uh, I have things in my library that are, let's face it, overtly sexual. Like, the Russian hackers purchased their victory on the short You know, they were like, ooh, I bet this the witch is going to be Humans began to contend with the main grade of basically porn They game. launched the witch hunts, and the rounding up the battle weary witches what? with little resistance, like, and, subjugating like, and subjugating those who like, wish to continue the struggle. Porn game. Human fame in the mirror is a much of this one because the like, witch hunts further. This and one soon presents the other witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth. It has this overt sexuality that is why is it I, like I said, I have a hard time pinning down my feelings okay. about it. But like, for example, Bayonetta has a taunt power, or not taunt power, a taunt ability. She can taunt her enemies, and when you push the taunt button, what does she do? She lays down on the ground and spreads her legs and is like, come at me. And, you know, like, it just... Uh, that... That doesn't hit me right, you know? Be because it feels like, um, in... Okay, let me give you an example. Uh, the Deep Space Waifu games. Deep Space Waifu is... It's a shooter where you're shooting the clothes off of a girl in space. It's very much a Japanese game concept. There were arcade games that were very much like this, uh, going back a long way in Japan, and oh, they just murdered themselves. Anyway, and um, and that's a lower angel. I beat up a bajillion of those all the time. Uh, anyway, the vestibule go I don't care about saving um so can I skip you yes yes please for the love of so merciful everything okay you. anyway and this teaches you how to do the things. And that is an angel that I'm beating the crap out of. Which is funny. Because the... Uh... Wait, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Boom. One, two, three. Anyway, there are all these combos. Um, one, two, three, four. Boom. Didn't I just do that one? One, two, three, four. Boom. Anyway, like, one of the things about Bayonetta is that if you're really good at combos, you'll really enjoy this game. Because there are a bajillion combos in this game. And, like, I will admit, the combat system in this game is super fun. But, like, okay. Oh, I can't get close to the thing. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Anyway, uh, oh yeah. And the thing is, like if you dodge things perfectly, then you go into witch time, you go into witch time, and you can, like, do all sorts of crap. Anyway. 
Uh, witch time. Yes. Dodge the last second. Did it. I'm in witch time. And when you're in witch time, you beat the crap out of them and do the killing combos. And that's the whole thing. I'm too it stuff. Anyway, I just took a hit there. But a bit of Yeah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that is what it is. See, now I'm in witch time. Huzzah! I'm doing crap on these guys. Yeah. Oh. And huzzah, I'm collecting rings just like Sonic. Yeah, and then there are all these, like, you know, fatality and whatnot. Oh, I thought I hit that. Okay. It's been a hot minute since I played this game. Uh. Oh, I thought I hit that with him perfectly, but... Yay, me! I'm beating up angels in a graveyard. Oh, and then these fools. Like, uh, the epicness of this game is pretty epic. Like, <laughs> you fight some massive, massive monsters and whatnot. Like, it gets crazy. Um. Oh, these fools. Anyway. Oh, shoot your right way out. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. You've got gun shoes. How can I forget that you've got gun shoes? Anyway. <laughs> okay. And then you just. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I for rotate. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah, got it. Yeah, and then you can shoot all around. And shoot. Oh, I'm doing it. Woohoo. Anyway. But, uh, back to the lecture head. Yeah, I know. I, I, cause I'm fighting. And I'm actually like, and here's the stupid thing is that like I enjoy the 
combat system in this game. But it's the section of the part of the game. It really does. And maybe it's because, like, okay, a game like um, Deep Space Wife, like, I'd be out of my freaking mind to play it when my kids are awake. Like, that is a, like, have a laugh with the missus when it's only a joke. Uh, I'm getting my butt handed to me. Because uh, I'm, I'm not good at talking and comboing. There we go. Oh, where's my... Where's my wristband? Yeah, and the thing is, is that, like, you can, like, basically infinitely combo if you get decent at the combos. Yeah, and this idiot is, like, a total idiot. Yeah. Anyway, then you gotta go save his sorry took us. Uh anyway, wait, where are you going? Oh, you can double jump. Used it, did it. Um ah! Damn it, who did that? I just bought the damn But thing. yeah, like I, I I feel like a game like this. Um, you know, it's a regular you video game. It out it's yet? not a sex no game. It's for not you a in this world. porn game. It's not a like cheeky adults only sort of a. Yeah, yeah. She's on Smash Bros, which is why, like, you know, like, would I let my son play this game? But you know. I would not, because, like, the attitudes toward women that it perpetuates are not great. Oh, come on, I'm trying to count on this this time. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not down with, uh, Hypersexualizing women in, in in the ways that they do here. Now, obviously, like in a porn game, is it not sexual? Well, of course it is. But, like, the whole of the porn game needs to be sexual, but it's also not like a big budget triple A title that like then gets represented in Smash Bros, which my son plays religiously. You know, and I, I think it's that. I think it's the, uh, you know, it, I think it's the difference between, you know, uh, sex in the bedroom on your own and sex in the living room uh, when the neighbors are there. Ooh, I got a bronze medal, <laughs> which means that I'm not great at this. me for even touching these toys. Anyway, any idea how much and, this is and cost that's fix? what bothers me how about Bayonetta. How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? And, and I don't know, maybe if I was a single guy and was mm. just Engine playing video games by myself now, with no, like, thing you've been looking into fatherly for responsibilities or whatever, that I might feel differently about See, it. But, like, this is why I told you I was going obviously, I just I, got it, held up I'm in bothered by, by this some game in so many ways. Things. And, and, you and I don't know how much briefing? more I can just continue to say with you. that. Uh, but you I am. Like, I kind like of love, love the combat system. Love the world of it. Like, love that you go hang like out that. with this guy, the, the Morpheus here. <laughs> and uh, he's you not Morpheus. I'm, I'm joking. But, like, you go hang out in his bar and you can buy power-ups and whatnot. But, like... You know, Such the fact that so shit. many of her power-ups are like little lollipops did, for her to suck here. on and be like, ooh, we I'm sucking a sure lollipop and spreading my legs back so that I can, out. you know, shoot boys in the face. You know, like, it, it's... Uh, it just bothers me 
uh, you heard the man. that it, 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 up in it doesn't five strike me in the same way that a Deep Space candles. Waifu does, which what? Deep Space Waifu Don't does not take it itself either. too seriously, but it also, it also presents itself as 100% a game that it, oh, like, children I'm should screwed. have been in bed for two hours before you turn ah. this on. It's you know, like, it, it just, that's the way the it damage. is. And, and so, what, uh, Bayonetta seems to get a little lollipop and Forget whatnot. About it. And, and so the way the in which, um, she is so hypersexualized You're still getting and all this the whole, too. like, oh, I got my stiletto heels with the I've guns on the bottom of them and I'm always sucking on a lollipop and, like, uh, you know, and also there's a little, like, like, ooh, I'm a little baby, but also I'm a, like, I, I'm an eight foot tall woman who is 97% legs, who wears nothing but skin tight clothes. And the fact that one of, that a lot of her powers are like, her clothes disappear up into a massive tornado of hair. And like, and then she just be butt naked and hitting people with her hair. And but that now, is her power in Smash Bros. You, you know, it's like, every day, come or they'll on, drag guys. your ass back down the hill. I know, like, I thought I got screwed, but being forced to you know, around the divine there, for there's, a living, there's your leisure really suit, Larrys, screwed. which everyone knows is not a game. You that be should, my first choice. You know, if leisure, should, the if funeral, leisure suit Larry showed up in Smash Bros, that was our uh, there would be a public <laughs> outcry, oh, and there should be. Now. Or if, like, the, the hot coffee scenes in uh, San Andreas At showed up, if they showed up in Smash Bros, you'd be like, what? Why is this a part of Smash Bros? CJ's like, uh, you know, in the gimp suit hitting you from behind? Like, what? Why would that be in a game that children can play? And what exactly? Anyway. So, yeah. I I'm bothered by this. Anyway, I'm going to skip this. Yeah, wait, skip. Yeah, we're going to skip the cinematic. Anyway. Uh, and we're gonna go to the title screen because I have played enough Bayonetta for me to talk about the fact Bayonetta. that I'm Bayonetta that I'm bothered by Bayonetta like I'm bothered by it I am and I played the game all the way through and was bothered by it the whole time so I don't know what that says about me as a human being I don't know how to feel about it uh, about the fact that I did play through the game, the in, the, the the entire game. <sighs> yeah, I'm a finisher is what it says. Well, it, it says that prior to me getting the kind of help that I needed, uh, I had a hard time putting things down. It's true. And now that I have the help that I needed... Uh, I'm much more capable of putting things down. Anyway, let me pause this and I'll put a score on Bayonetta. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I had to sort through some feelings about this game. Uh, because did I play it all the way through? Yes, I did. Did I enjoy playing it? Yes and no. <laughs> No, for all of the reasons I talked about. Yes, because it's clearly a very well-designed game. Um, it is epically large. The story is insane. Um, you, you will end up fighting... Uh, you, you will end up fighting um, bosses that are unimaginably large. It, it, and it, it is kind of fun to do that part of it not just kind of fun it is fun to take on these like massive bosses and um these insane levels and if you learn to get good at comboing you can put witch time on top of witch time on top of witch time and you can just combo for eternity and um the people who are really good at that game that's what they do they're like oh you just combo the ever-loving crap out of it because that's what you do anyway um 
So yeah, I can't say it's a bad game. I can't. Uh, well designed, well written, uh, good graphics for the time it came out, really tight gameplay, excellent combat system, very amateurish 12-year-old's uh, version of female sexuality. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's so... Uh, that part of it is like... Uh, boy, like I, I, yeah, that that part I don't like as much as you can tell, uh, because as someone you know who cares about women and cares about the way that they are portrayed, um, it, it's problematic for me. And so I, you know, like hey, if you are single and male, and uh, you know, obviously don't have any kids hanging around, you know, you got an apartment. Uh, maybe just you and some bros, or maybe just you, uh, play the ever-loving crap out of this game, and don't worry about it. But if you're a dad, and uh, you have fatherly-type duties and fatherly-type of um, associations, like if you have a daughter, which I do, uh, then it is going to make you be like, Huh, oh man, the depictions, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you're going to be conflicted. Hopefully, if you're one of them, what you call them, good dads. Anyway, so that's why Bayonetta gets uh, five out of pos possible six cases of Four Peaks uh, Brewing Company Kilt Lifter beer. Kilt Lifter, if you can get your hands on it, is a delicious scottish style ale and um yeah i i drink it regularly it is my regular drinking beer but it is obviously not for children so don't put it in you know drinks for children the same way that like bayonetta is not a game for children therefore don't put it in games that get played by children i don't know me and my high-headed ideas uh, yeah, feel about the way that I feel about it, however you want to feel. This is your own business. Uh, all I know is that as a guy who cares about portrayals of women, um, the hypersexualized way in which Bayonetta is presented in this game is problematic for me, and it makes me feel icky inside every time I play it. Uh, well, I've only played it through all the way once, and this is the only other time that I've picked up the game it's to just show you some gameplay and to talk about it. And yeah, even playing a little bit now made me feel icky inside. So it's a really good game that if you have certain types of feelings, maybe you'll feel icky inside. Anyway, that's it for this one. We will see you in the next one. All right, bye.